Who is Kitty Cat Pals? Kitty Cat Pals started in 2006 with two people, myself and Claudia. Started Kitty Cat Pals because there were too many cats coming into the local shelter and we wanted to make an impact and try to help save some of these suffering animals from being born outdoors. So, we started Trap Neuter Return, which includes feral cats. Is a feral cat the same as a pet cat? They're really the same, except a pet cat is used to being around people and a feral cat isn't. A pet cat is used to a noisy household and all the activity, likes to be with you, maybe to be brushed, may even sleep on your bed. A feral cat has lived outside all its life, is terrified of people. But if you catch a feral cat when it's young enough, when it's just an eight week old kitten or younger, it can learn to be comfortable with people and can turn into a lovely cat. How many kittens can a cat have in a year? So what happens on Vancouver Island is because we have a warm climate, the cats can have two sets of kittens in a year. Those sets of kittens that they're having can have two sets of kittens in a year also. They only have to be six months old to have another litter. After you start to count these all up, you end up with a new colony of wild kittens in less than a year. You could have 20 to 30 more cats every year. So we started taking kittens in and uh, then we have to find homes for them so we started an adoption program and uh, so many cats and kittens were coming in that we needed to start a foster program so that these animals could be taken care of in uh, homes rather than in cages until they were ready to be adopted. And the little feral kittens also need to uh, be socialized in foster homes. They're pretty scared still. As foster parents, we have to make our home available if someone wants to come and visit them if they're interested in adopting. And eventually, Bosleys and Woofies have places for the kittens to go so that the public can see them and we're responsible for taking them over there. Yeah, they were one day old and so their eyes were closed and they couldn't really move. They stayed with their mom in a basket for about a week and she did everything. It was nice to have the mom with us. And how much of a responsibility is it, you guys? Every morning we have to go up there and check on them, but that's still fun because And what do you do when you check on them? Well, we look at their food bowls and their water bowls and check their litter. Yeah. Whenever there's an accident, we always say, Mommy, come <laughs> Kittens grow up fast. Take a look. Two weeks old. Four weeks old. Six weeks old. Eight weeks old. Two weeks old and eight weeks old. The best time to get an outdoor kitten for successful socializing is before they are eight weeks old. When I bring a new kitten home, what does it need? This is Heavenly. Heavenly is a three months old toddy female kitten. She has blue eyes. Heavenly is ready for adoption and when she goes to her new home, she will need a few things. She will need food, a litter box, a cat carrier, and a cat bed, and of course toys. It is very important that it is kitten food that you feed. Kitten food is high in nutrients and vitamins. Dry kibbles and fresh water should be available at all times. Canned food can be fed once or twice a day. 
When Heavenly is tired, the cat bed should be in a place which is quiet so she doesn't get disturbed. Heavenly loves to play. She has lots of toys, but she's also very curious about things around the house. So it's very important to supervise her and make sure the house is kitten proof. I'm sure your parents can help you to find out more about how to make sure your kitten is safe in the home. You can find information on the internet. Heavenly is one of many kittens that need a good home. If you like to have a kitten, check out our website www.kittycatpals.com My friend got a free kitten, why do you charge money? There is a saying you might have heard it yourself, adopt, don't shop. And we say that at Kitty Cat Pals because there is no such thing as a free kitty. If you are properly taking care of your new kitten, you have to take it to the vet and it needs vaccines and deepling, deworming. Eventually it needs to be spayed or neutered when it gets old enough. And at Kitty Cat Pals, we take care of all of that for you and that's why we have to charge you a fee. What does the tattoo mean? Every cat that we have done gets a tattoo. The tattoo is in three parts. The first is a letter which indicates which vet clinic has done the spay or neuter. The second is a number which indicates which number the cat is in all the cats they have done that year. And the third is a letter that indicates which year the cat was actually tattooed in. The reason we do this is so that if a cat is ever caught and taken to any of the clinics, we know generally where it's from, what health it was in, and who caught it. And now you can tell your friends so that they'll know also. Now we all know the difference between a feral cat and a pet cat. How fast a colony can grow, how to adopt a cat, or foster a kitten, and what a new kitten needs. But what does an outdoor cat need? Outdoor cats don't need a very complicated setup to be safe and warm. A simple waterproof cover, like these tablecloths, over a box with some bedding inside is very sufficient for them. They can stay out of the rain and keep warm. Another outdoor home for cats is a styrofoam box cooler with a small hole cut in one end and some straw inside. Dangers to an outdoor cat. Outdoor cats can get into open garages and sheds. Remind your parents to put away dangerous items like antifreeze and fertilizers because these things are toxic to cats. Meeting an outdoor cat. When you first see a cat in your neighborhood that you don't recognize, you want to try to get it back to its owners. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is get close enough to it to see if it's a friendly kitty. So one thing you can do is offer it food. A kitty kitty. Pretty obviously an owned cat that needs to get back to its owner. And then you can look in its ear to see if it has a tattoo. You want to remember what it is and then go tell an adult that you have a cat with a tattoo that's lost. And the adult will call their vet and find out who the owner is. Kitty Cat Pal Society volunteers use the Trap Neuter Return System to help adult cats who are feral and who have always lived outdoors. We catch each cat in a safe trap and take it to a veterinarian for spaying if it's female or neutering if it's male. After recovery from surgery, we return the cat to its home territory and colony members. This system also involves making food, water and shelter available to these kitties who are now part of a managed colony. Once things are in place, the cat's behaviours become more relaxed and they spend more time taking care of themselves by grooming and sleeping properly. If you're interested in doing more to help cats, take our information home and tell your family about Kitty Cat Pal Society.